But I also thought to myself, hold on. What's the age limit for fucking carnival? Is there an age limit? I think there should be an age limit, right? Because this is the headline. Man jailed for five years for carrying a gun at Notting Hill Carnival. A man has been jailed after police found a loaded Glock pistol he had stashed in a bum bag as he attended Carnival. Jade, J by the way, look at Jade. I don't know if you can see this on the picture, if you're not watching. He's wearing like a hockey mask, I think. Is that? Oh, shit. No, he's not. My bad. He's just really dark. God damn it. I apologize. I thought he had a hockey mask and I thought he had one of those Playboy Carty hockey goalie mask on, but he's just really, really dark. Fair enough. We zoom back out. Anyway, I should keep on reading the article. Jane Charles, 35, had been carrying a weapon. It's funny I say that, innit? I'm saying he's really dark as if I look at Chris Brown. That's that fucking dark skin on dark skin violence. There's something about it. There's nothing. There's nobody's more racist than people that look like you, right? It's such a weird thing, innit? You know, if you know oh, white people say, no, 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 no. The person that's the most racist is somebody that fucking looks like you because they all suddenly think that they look like fucking Chloe Bailey, whereas you both the same shade. It's like, what? Anyway, we'll continue. J. Charles 35 had been carried. By the way, anyone called J. Charles, you probably should keep your wallet in your pocket, right? J. Charles, a boy that looks like that called J. Charles. Yeah, he's on, he's on demon time. This guy's a bad you. Jay Charles. That's a bad you, bro. Uh, that's the kind of guy that probably didn't finish primary school. Like, on, on the real. Like, this guy's been fighting from the day he came out of the womb. Um, had been carrying a weapon on children. <laughs> Jay Charles, 35, had been carrying a weapon on Children's Day. Bro, is there is there not a bigger oxymoron? He's got a name that looks like somebody that got chucked out of primary school. He's 35. And he was carrying a Glock pistol in a bum bag on Children's Day at Notting Hill Carnival. Could there not be a more oxymoronic fucking sentence in your entire life that you've ever seen? Charles from Queen's Park pleaded guilty on possession of a firearm and ammunition and was sentenced to five years at the court on Friday. To be fair, possession of a Glock pistol and only getting five years ain't too bad. Because I think New York has like, isn't New York like a 10 year thing? Isn't New York... Uh, sentences like what's the sentence for New York? Um, uh, gun possession sentence New York. Isn't it really high in New York as well? The number. Let's see what they're saying here. Uh, criminal possession of fire. Okay, same penalties create um up to four years in prison for a classy felony. Third degree criminal possession charges carry up to seven years with a two year presumptive uh presumptive minimum. So between four to seven. So kind of the same, but I don't know. There's something because of how illegal guns are in the UK in general. I think five years ain't that bad, you know. I'm not gonna lie. That could have been worse. Maybe I'm maybe I'm you know minimizing what's happened there. But five years ain't too shabby. Um. Eagle-eyed fans have noticed that Charles attended Not On Your Cover 2019 with Fredo and suspected to be an associate of the rapper. So here he is in 2019 with Fredo, standing next to a guy who's got the face of a 40-year-old but the body of a 12-year-old. All these guys are dangerous. Guys that look like this, guys who look like this, who are, you know, 35, called J. Charles, you know, going to carnival. Like, because there's something, it has to be said as well. What age should you stop going to carnival? Should a 35-year-old be at Not On Your Carnival? I say no, because who are you daggering, really? Because that's what most mandem go carnival for. I'm one of the mandem, unfortunately so. I'm one of the mandem, right? And when I go to carnival, when I did go to carnival, one of the main reasons to go to carnival is to stunt, right? You got some new garments, you got some new crepes, right? You want to show off, you want to buy a zoo, you want to drink a couple of little drinks, meet up the mandem, eh, 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 from afar. Right? And you want to grind up, innit? You want to wind up on some batty. You want some big badum badum to be like caressing your junk. And you want to try your best to make sure you don't get a boner. It's really hard, but you want to try your best to just focus on the rhythm, focus on the dance, focus on that thing you saw on YouTube, right? And just like dance, dance, dance. But you don't want to ever get a boner. You don't want to scare the hoes away. Cool. Not hoes, women. We get it. Cool. Regardless, what age do you have to stop going carnival? At what age is, is it like almost on the verge of like diddling there you go carnival i think 35 is probably over the limit because unfortunately so the girls who are willing to have strangers grind up on their batties for the most part again i'm going to tell you for personal experience the girls who are most willing to have a strange man grind his private areas into their nyash right with the risk of them getting a boner and them feeling it and that's being weird 
right? And maybe some pre ejaculate coming out there and him touching it, be like, ah, right? The only person that would do that is a young girl. Uh, probably a girl over 30, probably not going to let you do that. Not going to let you just come up to behind it, just start gripping her up. Not going to happen. So you are going to carnival at 35, knowing you're going to be grinding up on like what? Under 20s? Under 21s? Yikes. I don't know about that, bro. I don't know about that. And also, there comes a point in time where things are just, it's done. I'm kind of lucky because, you know, I kind of always went to carnival on my own. Or sometimes I go carnival with my quote unquote scene friends. Um, I hadn't really been. Yeah, I went to carnival one time with one some with some guys from ends that ended in disaster. Never again. But I've never really gone carnival with people like with a group of with a group of boys. Let's say I've always kind of just met people there, bumped into them. Right? It was always me maybe with like one person, two people, or by myself for the most part. But I haven't been to carnival in years, and I don't see the need for it because in my mind, the main reason why I'm going is the food the music and to bust a wine and if i can't bust a wine it kind of takes a it takes a joy out of going to carnival and i'm not gonna go bust a wine on some 21 year old on some 90 like just not that's not my vibe in the slightest so i'd rather not and i also don't want to be plastered uh, uh, you know on some social media page with my fucking you know best chance to rapper face like allow that that's not really what i'm on so i think in general this guy probably could have avoided all of these issues if he didn't carry his Glock in the first place. And don't go to Carnival with a strap. Going to Carnival with a strap is like insane. Really, really, really insane. But I bet you any money, if you saw him at Carnival, you would have felt he had a strap on him. Because there's something about guys in London, when they're carrying a blicky, you can feel it. You can feel it. Like the chest is like extra bold. Guy will stare you down all the way to the end of the street. Just mean mugging you. Just... Just, uh, you know he's got something. You know he's got a tool. You know it. You know it. Because that, 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 that fucking Glock gives them guys just this, like, it's almost like um the opposite of kryptonite, you know? It gives them this flipping power. It gives them this flipping authority to just, like, uh, someone try me so I can blow your head off. It's like, bro, relax, bro. I just want to get some rice and peas. I want to lick down this jerk. I might want to bust down on this flipping six foot three, you know, St. Lucian girl. That's what I want to do. You know what I mean? I like, leave me alone. I want to climb this girl like a fucking jungle gym. You know what I mean? I want to do a hand sign on her back and shit. But that's it. I don't want no trouble, bro. I don't want any smoke. This Ray nephew's already kicking my ass, right? I saw one guy actually on flipping social. Some psycho guy mixing Ray nephews with Magnum. Pouring Ray and nephews into Magnum. Bro, that's a flipping... That's a new killer weapon. I swear to God. So imagine you're already licked. You might be a bit high. You might be a bit zooted up. You might have a bit of molly in your system, right? And then here comes this guy with his Gucci flipping, you know, with his Gucci little bum bag with a blicky inside, just staring you down. Urgh. You're thinking, raw, why would upset Jade? Why one for Jade? Why is Jade staring me down? Well, Jade's staring you down because he's got the tool in his flipping bag. He's got the tool in his bag and he's waiting for you to say something so he can blow your head off. So I'm thankful. I, for one, am thankful that I'm going out on Carnival anymore because this is the type of people that are there. No people went to enjoy themselves, have a good time. These type of people. And the funny thing is well about Carnival, just to end it, I'm surprised. I'm not going to lie. I'm surprised it still goes on because it's one of the only days in London we have where you can kind of, you know, do what, happens at carnival like listen to loud music congregate in big groups especially black people smoke drink and not get arrested and for the most part there's always trouble every year every year people gather at Notting Hill carnival there's always now again it, it, it you know it, it varies in the levels of severity i know some pro black people are going to be like yeah but there's trouble also at all the white festivals okay we get it but i'm just we know how london is we know how they move when people die, when people get stabbed, when people get rushed, you know, police come cramping down, local council start crying, when somebody think of the fucking gentrification, gentrifiers and shit, everyone gets in the tizzy. So I'm legit surprised that carnival still exists. I'm not going to lie. I'm legit surprised that carnival is still a thing despite all the trouble that happens there. I swear to God, I swear to flipping God. But regardless, um, free Jade Charles, don't let see anybody in pen. Hopefully he bust case, but five years ain't too shabby. You got to stand in floppy not your kind of with a strap on. You're gonna be a hood legend when you come out anyway. Fredo's gonna hold you down. It is what it is. It is 
what it is it is what it blood clot is